This video is sponsored by The Indian Photography. It's Sunday, 7th October, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. The Ivy Wind Police on Saturday are not 21 more old stone idols and pillars said to be antiquities that were buried under the lawn of the Poes Garden Guesthouse of KCP Sugars and Industries Corporation Limited. On Friday, when it began conducting the search, it had found two stone pillars under the lawn of the guesthouse, which was used as a residence by the company's executive director, Kiran Rao. The idol wing has said that it will issue a summons for her appearance to proceed with the inquiry. At the same time, it has written to the Union Ministry of Home Affairs requesting a lookout circular in her name, which is issued to prevent someone from leaving the country. The police said the antiquities belonged to Ms. Rao and businessman and art collector Ranveer Shah, whose Saidapet residence and farmhouses in Kanchipuram district yielded 224 old sculptures and artifacts. However, sources close to Ms. Rao say that all 23 items seized from the poorest garden house belong to her. DMK President MK Stalin on Saturday said that had Governor Banwarilal Purohit taken action instead of merely speaking about the corrupt practices of the ruling party, the AIADMK's rule would have come to an end bringing relief to the people. Reacting to the governor's allegation that money played a crucial role in the appointment of vice-chancellors to state universities, he said Mr. Purohit had raised the issue a day after meeting Chief Minister Adapari K. Palnisamy. It's not clear whether he took up the matter with the Chief Minister, Mr. Stalin said. Pointing out that the governor had the power to take action against all corrupt practices, Mr. Stalin said the DMK had already submitted a memorandum stating that corruption was rampant not just in such appointments but also in the tender process for infrastructure projects. The governor's remarks prove that the DMK's allegations against the AIA DMK government are true, he said, wondering whether the governor had taken any action against these allegations at all. Love for the 2019 general elections in India, social networking giant Facebook is putting together a task force of specialists to defend against the misuse of its platform for influencing the voting process in any way. India is top of our mind, biggest democracy in the world. We're going to have biggest elections, so we will have a task force working on that. And we try to understand what the possible forms of abuse of the platform might be in India versus in the UK or any other country, Richard Allen, Vice President, Public Policy, EMEA Facebook said. The task force will comprise of a network of hundreds of people, including specialists who will monitor advertising to make sure that ads are appropriate and specialists to constantly look at the content. The company will also work with local political parties to understand what they're doing. The social media platform has been facing fire for improper use of its data to influence decisions in its home country, the United States, following which Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg earlier this year had announced putting in place a new policy to prevent interference in future elections. These steps, he added, will make it a lot harder for anyone to do what the Russians did during the 2016 US election and use fake accounts and pages to run ads. Post the controversy, India's IT as well as Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad had also warned of stringent legal action if Facebook data of Indian users was found being misused to influence the electoral process. The Greater Chennai Corporation has planned to open relief centres at 176 locations across the city during the northeast monsoon. Last year, the civic body had opened just 82 relief centres, out of which 22 centres accommodated 4,082 residents. This year, the government has taken measures to promote disaster preparedness in more localities. Boats have been stationed to rescue residents of at least 109 localities that are prone to flooding in the city. 
Municipal Administration Minister S. P. Velamani and Corporation Commissioner in Charge R. Lalita participated in a meeting this week to assess monsoon preparedness. Mr. Velamani said funds for taking up relief operations will be released to all departments. A total of 44 teams of doctors will visit neighborhoods to conduct medical camps for flood affected residents. Residents are requested to call the Corporation Helpline 1913 to seek assistance from civic officials 24 7. French police are investigating the disappearance of Interpol chief Meng Hong Wei, who was reported missing after traveling from France to his native China, and they have placed his wife under protection after threats, the Interior Ministry said on Friday. Mr. Meng's wife contacted police in Lyon, the French city, where the International Police Agency is based, after not hearing from him since September 25th and after receiving threats by phone and on social media, the ministry said. A person familiar with the investigation into the dip disappearance said the initial working assumption of Western investigators was that Mr. Meng had antagonized Chinese authorities in some way and had been detained as a result. France is puzzled about the situation of Interpol's president and concerned about the threats made to his wife, the ministry said. Mr. Meng's wife, who has remained in Lyon with their children, according to police sources, was receiving protection, it said, adding, exchanges with Chinese authorities continue. There have been several cases in recent years of senior Chinese officials vanishing without explanation only for the government to announce weeks or even months later that they've been put under investigation, often for suspected corruption. It's not clear why Mr. Meng, 64, who was named Interpol's president two years ago, had travelled to China. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from Key Metros. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 85.05 rupees per litre and diesel for 77.74 rupees per litre. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 81.82 rupees per litre and diesel for 73.53 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 87.29 rupees per litre and diesel for 77.06 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 83.66 rupees per litre and diesel for 75.38 rupees per litre. If you're serious about reaching a high quality audience, sponsor or advertise with us. Contact for further details on 8939-511-887 or write to us at info.theroosternews at gmail.com.